Welcome ladies and gentlemen, kindly consider to like this video. When you like this video or you give this video a thumb of like, it helps our YouTube channel to grow and also I want to congratulate you so much to the new subscribers for your subscriptions and to the members, thank you very much for your support. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find so well wherever you are. Ladies and gentlemen, Okia Mtata, as we speak, is the only man who is now coming out and defending Kenyan's right. As the current opposition have been swallowed by the government. And also, on a clip that I, I displayed to you on our screen one day ago, and the topic was lamentation. A video captured of a young woman crying for help because the government was going to destroy the house she built in order for them to, to make their houses there. As we know right now, the current government is having a project on the housing bill. But Okia Mtata is the only man who is portraying a true love for Kenyans and defending this housing bill again. And he's going against it by saying this is going to be harmful for Kenyans as the government is milking Kenyans and they want Kenyans to be distressed every now and then. Let's take a look and listen to Okia Mtata on whatever he took to court or the petition he took to the Supreme Court to defend again this housing bill uh, by going against it. Openness and accountability and fair sharing of the burden of taxation. You cannot take my money to build a house for another person. If the fund has to survive, let it be voluntary. And this is a Ponzi scheme to steal from Kenyans and to steal land. And that the Affordable Housing Act discriminates against people in formal employment who are required to contribute from their salaries while persons with non-salary income are exempt from such contribution. I'm going to install cameras on the motorbikes to monitor how many people are being carried and so that they can uh, report to the knee like you do with stamps in a factory. So it's, a new, it's practically impossible. What will, will they be paying the 3%? which the employer and the employee pay in this particular case, which is 1.5, 1.5, or will they be just be paying 1.5? In addition, the Affordable Housing Fund purports to use public or community land and sell the said housing unit to a private individual or corporate, an action which is unconstitutional in that all public land is held, managed and allocated by the National Lands Commission and not any other body. How will you as an individual buy a house built by public funds on public land? And even the private developer takes the money. I, I strongly believe that um, through the amendments that we did uh, at the floor of the House during the uh, during Committee of the Whole House and what was done by the Senate and the... Tata have called this as a discrimination which President Ruto is implementing on Kenyans. He again described it as a way of milking Kenyans not to save or not to have money in the pocket whether you are job whether you have a job or you are jobless that is whatever Okiam Tata is saying ladies and gentlemen allow me to share some of the updates on this move and come up with a resolution on how to solve this problem but before I do that if this might be your first time watching me at the Kenya TV YouTube channel, I request you kindly do me a favor. Take a one second and click that subscription button and subscribe to our channel. After you subscribe to our channel, like this video, watch, share and give us your opinion at the comment section below. Let's proceed. The housing bill has become a history to Kenya Kwanzaa administration. And this housing bill 
they are taking it for granted and in fact forcing Kenyans to pay tax whether they like it or not. And this is a clear indication that there are those who are benefit on this housing bill. Whether on the side of contract or on the side of tax. So it is vice versa. So Okia Mtata knows the deal. Okia Mtata as a man who have worked for the government on a for a long term of period is now going to court again to defend this housing bill. Remember it's the one who made it to be stopped by the Supreme Court. And in fact if our old CJ can come out and say it, rise early implement this housing bill into law. Now, Kutuliza, he, he didn't even in, uh, consult us. So that can tell you that this housing bill they want to con Kenyans with. And I think I did that analysis and I said, Kome embarrassed, if I'm not wrong. Because I normally analyze several videos. So even Kome, Chief Justice, Martha Kome, came out, she came out and said that this housing bill which have been implemented into law were not put into the, the, their decision making. So who is Ruto? It means that as he's the president, he have gone against the law, he is above the law, and now forcing Kenyans to pay this housing bill, to pay this tax on the housing bill. Next month they might come up with again UHC. They want to milk Kenyans, they want to milk youth, they want to milk parents, they want to milk every person in order for them to benefit. So Kia Mtata is saying that this housing bill is harmful for Kenyans. And if the government had interest for Kenyans, they could have created another method of helping Kenyans. You have gone to court to defend it, and Kenyans are really, really waiting for this. So, according to my observation, Okia Mtata is a patriotic leader. He loves Kenyans and is a firm man, a man with integrity. As other leaders who are capable even to speak to President Direct cannot. Because what I know is that Okia Mdata is now enemy to President Ruto. He cannot call him direct as much as he, is, he can access him, but he can't, they can't read to each other. Because they have become enemy. So, this is very wrong and very sad happening in our country. There's something which we don't understand. And it is called, we forget a lot in our life. Forgetfulness. When we forget a lot, we cannot flash back the background where we come from. Then it means that to Mefika, we've reached to an extent where we, not, we are not expecting. When we recall how Ruto used to campaign, and convince Kenyans, In fact, I don't know if President Ruto is going to survive in his second chance. I doubt at all. Unless Kenyans are the one who will be still blind enough to say Ruto back again. Because on whatever is now happening as we speak, 
Watu wamechoka. This is the first time okay mtata is reporting this case to court. Kama wewe ni rais. Umeona enyewe court has stopped this. Why don't you talk to Kenyans and ask them again? Are you happy with this housing bill? Then if they say no, for achana nayo. Si a must. Then come up with a resolution. Another thing to do for Kenyans. Because you are the president, Kenyans elected you. I like how the late Mark Fuli used to consult people. He was not having advice, advisors, but he was just consulting the people of Tanzania. Nini mmeona nimetengeneza barabara. Hi barabara ni is it good for you? Ama ni mbaya. Alafu they are they were coming up with something to make a put across. That is what we call leader. That is what we call a leader. Lakini hii mambo ya kuforce kila kitu ifanyikwe, ifanyikwe. Anyway, time will tell. That is whatever Kiam Tata is now defending again. <laughs> and let's hope he's going to be safe. Let's hope the court is going to listen to him and if it is going to be stopped it is well and fine our country is being ruled by constitution ladies and gentlemen allow me to end this analysis at this point i don't want to speak much on this but i just want to put across somewhat that please any leader in the country learn to stand firm learn to defend your people in the society we are today Bye bye and kindly don't forget to like this video.